so this is my first official uh, video as a new recording artist, Tonica Ole, formerly known as Whitney Houston. What's going on everybody? So this is my, uh, okay. What's up everyone? Video as a new re retarded, what's up everyone? No. <laughs> What's going on? I can't, I'm not even, what am, am I awake? What's up everyone? This is my first video as uh, Tonica, a brand new recording artist as of January 1st, 2014 at midnight. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my new song, Whoa. Uh, originally the song was gonna be 12 minutes long. It was gonna be wordless. <laughs> and then uh, I felt like I could do kind of more with it if it had some words to it, because you know a lot of people relate uh, to other people when they communicate. So. The song first starts off with a little intro and then it goes right into the chorus, and the chorus, I, uh, I've i always kind of lo I love just singing loudly, for just, <laughs> just belting out notes. It's fun to sing like that, I love to just wail. This song, I kind of just wanted to sing <laughs> loudly. The verses, I just knew I didn't want just a regular kick drum for the verses because I'm like, you yeah, know, I, I, I know everyone's in, in, moving into dubstep right now and a lot of people are liking that electronica, um, I don't know what it is that they like about it, but I just so happen to make electronica music in the pop music format. And in the breakdown, I, I really wanted to do what I wanted to do and not what other people wanted or what people expected of me to do. So that's when I just decided I was going to have a, a, a bass line that was more of a drone. Again, the claps are my favorite part, so I, I had to mix the claps from the breakdown into the verses. At the very end of the song, there's a, a, a new synthesizer that I added last minute, and I remember listening to a, a producer say, if you ever have those reactions like, oh, should I do this? That's when you probably should do it. Um, and so I, I threw the, the ending in there and I, I kind of off slapped the last snare kick and because uh, I just felt like how would I end this song? So that's kind of how Woe came to be. Um, I, I began writing it in 2010 and I just kept playing with it and just as a perfectionist I wouldn't let it go and you know how Family Guy it takes them nine months to make one episode, so I, I felt, at first I felt like, oh, maybe I'm not a good recording artist because I can't finish the song, but then I thought, you know what, no, I, I can finish the song, I just want to finish it my way. The cover art, by the way, came from a photo shoot with this photographer in Lakeland, Florida, but I'm also selling my artwork. So for this picture, I wanted to be retro because I love retro, I love highlights, I love color put my best foot forward. But anyhow, that's kind of all I got for you today. The song's out on iTunes as we speak or as you click like and subscribe to this video. For more videos on me, uh, watch youtube.com slash Sean Roscoe Vlog TV. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.